Welcome, what you're about to watch is a lesson from my Getting Started with Reminders course. This is all about why you should be using Apple Reminders, why most people should be using Apple Reminders as their task manager, because it's not only devices, and it's excellent, really come a long way since it started. So we're gonna talk more about that in the lesson. If you wanna actually get the whole course, you can go to Skillshare, find the link below, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash membership and get all of my courses, lots of different stuff, other task managers, note-taking, lots of stuff. Buckle up, have an excellent day. Now, some of you are gonna be asking, why on earth would I bother with Apple Reminders? It is the basic task manager that comes with iOS, iPadOS, macOS, but there's really not a lot of power there. But that's how it started. Where Reminders is now actually has a lot more power than most people even need. Over the last number of years, Apple Reminders has become a very capable task manager for almost every user out there. Now, it doesn't have its own custom scripting language like OmniFocus does. No, it's not cross-platform like TickTick or Todoist are, but it is free if you have an Apple device. That means it should be the default option for anyone needing some basic task management or getting started with task management if you are in the Apple ecosystem. The truth is that most people don't need the custom scripting languages. They don't need Kanban boards. They don't need all this other automation that can integrate with the web for their tasks. They need a place to write down some projects, write down some tasks, put dates on it, maybe put locations in there, maybe tag them, and that's it. My wife easily gets away with just a piece of paper and the thing she needs to do overall, and then she breaks it down and says, this is what I want to do this week with a piece of paper. Most people really only need that level of task management, and reminders can easily provide that level of task management while also scaling up to someone who needs more where they need to, you know, I use a hardware tag to group everything I need to purchase at the hardware store from across projects that are going around the house. So I only need to make one trip to the hardware store and get everything. Reminders can do that. It's got excellent native integration with Siri and with the latest operating system updates for all the platforms that Apple has. And there's templates and smart lists now to help you automate your groups and your tasks. And unlike task managers like to do it, you don't need to come up with some fancy pronunciation to get Siri to work with it. It just works. You also get free sync with the iCloud account. This is a service that most task managers charge for in some way. Since most of us have multiple devices, sync is a crucial feature of any task manager. So you can have it on your iPhone, on your phone, on your computers, and everywhere that you're going to be. For most people, most of the time, Apple Reminders is the ideal choice of a simple task manager that has lots of power as you start to need more features in it. So my first recommendation to anyone looking for a task manager is Reminders.